Hello everybody, my name is Cube 6 and today we are going to be taking a look at the tutorial for this video in the top right right now. Also, you can find that video in the description below, but pretty much that video is explaining how this redstone contraption right here actually works and functions, and this is the uh, two wide hidden staircase, infinitely expandable, so yeah, this is a super cool redstone contraption, but uh, this is the tutorial video for that that video that I was showcasing this contraption on. If you didn't click on that video and if you haven't watched it yet then I highly recommend you go watch that because it explains pretty much everything about this redstone contraption. Now I would not consider anyone building this design just because like look at the size of this thing this is pretty huge so I'm really only making this tutorial for entertainment purposes only so if you guys are here for a cool random dude teaching you how to build a overly complicated contraption that has probably no practical use whatsoever then you are in the right place so go ahead and grab some popcorn and just sit back and relax because this is going to be a very long video but before we go ahead and uh, get into the lengthy tutorial um, we are going to I'm just going to show you the opening and closing sequence uh, just for those of you who are not going to watch that video and <laughs> I'm saying all this love to that video I would go I would again highly recommend you go watch that video that's a super sick video to look at just to introduce you to this contraption uh, but for those of you who are not going to do that then I'm just going to go ahead and open it and close it once so this is the opening sequence as you can see it instantly folds away revealing the staircase you can walk all the way down and then the staircase actually has stairs and um, the closing sequence There you go, there's the closing sequence, and uh, everything is flush with the ground, just like that. So, yeah, this is the premise of the redstone contraption, and now we are going to be building it. Again, I don't really expect anyone to be building this, um, just because of the, the sheer scale of this monstrosity. Uh, so, yeah, I, I really don't expect anyone to be building this. Um, but if you do build this, then please put that down in the comments below, because if you do, man... You're a trooper, bro. Good job. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, jump right into it, starting with the uh, input circuit. All right, so I lied. We are actually not going to be doing the uh, input circuit or the red circuit first. We are actually going to be doing the layout where everything is actually being positioned. So we uh, will get things started with the 6x2 bed of blocks right here. And this is going to be your floor level. So if you are building this, you will actually need to dig down six blocks. So it would be one, two, three four five and six and so you dig down six blocks and then this is the seventh block is going to be your ground level and then you this is all of, these are all the blocks that are going to be moving uh that the pistons are going to be moving all right so now we can go ahead and get started where the button is positioned so four blocks away from this block right here so one two three four and then the fifth block is where it is going to be and the button is going to be on that block just like this now the red circuit is very simple pretty much all you have to do is just go two blocks underneath so one two you can go ahead and destroy the support block and then go ahead and place an adjacent block right here and another adjacent block right here to create this sort of zigzag shape now what we can do is we can add two more blocks on the side of this last adjacent block that we place and then place redstone dust here 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 and that's it and pretty much all we have to do is just add one more repeater just place it in this direction on this block set to four ticks and that is pretty much the whole entire input circuit done so let's go ahead and just jump right on to the orange circuit okay now we can go ahead and begin the orange wool circuit now this circuit is actually going to be the timing circuits for the double piston extenders on each side um, now this circuit yeah, I actually made a video on one of the mechanisms inside of this circuit and it's called the multi-button press detection system If you want to go ahead and check that video out It'll be in the car in the top right right now or in the description below But pretty much it allows you to click the button a certain number of times and uh, yeah All right, so let's go ahead and build this So go ahead and come right to this block right here and we're gonna go ahead and place and again, uh, this circuit, as you can see, is huge, so I'm only going to be building this right side, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the left side. So I'm only building the right side first, and then you just kind of copy it over to the left. So go ahead and place a block right here, here, and then two more blocks here and here. 
Now what we can do is we can place two pieces of resin dust here and here, and then grab two repeaters, one right here and one right here, and then both of these will be set to four ticks on each. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and grab an observer and place one observer coming out from this repeater, and the red side is facing towards the first piston that we are going to be placing right here. And we also place another piston right here because we are going to be repeating this for the right side, so the same thing right here, and then one piece of redstone dust, and two repeaters, both set to four ticks, and then another observer going right into the second piston that we placed. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and place two more pistons here and here, and now what we can, we can what we can, oh my god. What we can do is we can go ahead and place two more pistons here and here, just behind these two pistons that we placed, and I'll go underneath everything and place a block right here, 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 and two up just like this, so two adjacent blocks from these blocks right here. Now we can go ahead and grab our observer and place it facing downwards. Right here, so the red side is facing down towards the ground. Now we can go ahead and add a piece of redstone dust here and here, and then two repeaters set to no ticks on these two blocks here, going into these blocks. That will be powering these two pistons in this location here. Now we can go ahead and begin with that video part that I said, the um, hidden or the uh, multi-button press detection system. So now we're going to go ahead and be building that, and this is pretty much a direct tutorial from that video. So if you guys do want to figure out how to build this in more in-depth tutorial, then go ahead and click that video in the top right, or also in the description below. Alright, so go ahead and add a block up just like this, and then another block adjacent from the block that we just placed. Then go ahead and grab a repeater, set it to two ticks, going right into a dropper. And this dropper will be facing towards the right of our contraption. And then this dropper will be going right into this hopper. Now in this hopper, we are going to be placing 44 items, exactly. So, 40, actually 45 items, and we're placing it inside of this hopper. Um, but what we need to do is we need to lock this dropper by first putting a block right here to the left side of this hopper and placing a torch on that so now this hopper will be locked so go ahead and place 45 items in this hopper and place the remaining two one item actually just one item in this dropper here so now what we can do is we can go ahead and be placing a block here 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 and then a block adjacent down from this block right here then what we can do is we can place another block right here another block here and then a block up, and then also a block down to create this sort of C-shape, cubby sort of thing, whatever you want to call it. And then, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a comparator and place it facing outwards from this hopper, just like this. And then place a piece of resin dust here, 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 and yeah, that's it. Now we can go ahead and grab a repeater. Uh, and place one right here. Set this repeater to four ticks and then place a redstone dust in this cubby just like this. Now what we can do is we can place a block right here and then another block right here. Add a piece of redstone dust coming out from this torch and place a repeater right here set to four ticks. Now we can go ahead and grab an observer and place it facing outwards from this repeater and going into a block here, here, and here, all redstone dust. And then another block right here with all redstone dust on it. Now what we can do is we can place two more blocks here and here with redstone repeaters on them. So one redstone repeater here and one redstone repeater here. Now both of these repeaters will be going into blocks just like this. And then we are going to go ahead and grab our normal pistons and place two normal pistons on top of these blocks right here. And then place adjacent blocks from these blocks that the pistons are on top of. So right here and right here. And then place another adjacent block right here and right here to create this sort of zigzag. Now we can go ahead and grab another two repeaters and place one right here and right here. Both of them set to two ticks. And now we can go ahead and grab another piston, <laughs> two more pistons, and place them yet again on top of the two adjacent blocks to create this sort of shape just like this. All right, now we can go ahead and repeat all of this steps for the left side. So we can go ahead, I'm just gonna speed through this because I kinda already uh, explained this side. So yeah, let's go ahead and just do it. So again, we're just gonna place a block here and then a block adjacent from that block, another block right here, and then a dropper adjacent from the adjacent block that was off of the adjacent block. <laughs> a lot of adjacent blocks here. Now we can go ahead and grab a hopper facing into this dropper. Now this is the only important thing in this 
item hopper right here, and instead of placing 45 items like we did in the last step, and again, we are, need to lock this hopper to prevent it from going to this dropper, so go ahead and place an adjacent block from this hopper and a redstone torch on it so it locks this hopper. But now this is the only important bit. Instead of placing 45 items in this uh, item hopper, we are actually going to be placing 44 items instead of 45 items. Um, and so we're just going to place 44 items in here. And then in this dropper, we are only going to be placing two items instead of one item. And that's just kind of um, how it has to be. Now we can go ahead and place a redstone repeater right here, set to two ticks, place a redstone dust going into this block so it powers this redstone repeater. Then we can go ahead and place three blocks right here in this C formation and then a block down right here uh, to create this little cubby again, a little dip down. Then place a block right here, here, and then again another cubby or a C shape, whatever you want to call it, right here. So now we can go ahead and grab our comparator, place it facing outwards from this hopper, and place two two pieces of redstone, one here, one here, one here, and actually that's way more than two, but we're going to roll with it. And, um, and that's two times two, but now we can go ahead and add a repeater right here coming off of this final redstone dust, set to four ticks, and then add a piece of redstone dust in this little cubby right here. Now what we can do is we can add a block right here and right here, add a redstone dust coming out from this torch, and this redstone dust will be going right into this repeater set to four ticks. And uh, now we can go ahead and grab our observer and place it facing outwards from this repeater. Now this observer will be going right into um, around about four blocks, I think. So one, two, three, four, just like this to create this little lightning bolt or zigzag type thing. And then all of these blocks right here will be all redstone dust. Now we can go ahead and place two blocks here and here with both redstone repeaters on them, set to nothing. Now we'll have adjacent blocks from these uh, blocks right here, and then we'll have adjacent blocks from the adjacent blocks right here. And then finally, again, more adjacent blocks from the adjacent blocks to create a zigzag type shape just like this. Now these two repeaters will be going right into these two uh, more repeaters set to two ticks. And now we can go ahead and grab our pistons, place two right here and two right here. Actually, I kind of got that wrong. So we are actually going to be placing, breaking these both of these pistons and placing two pistons right here. So they're kind of pushed back. And then we are going to be breaking both of these pistons and placing two pistons right here um, on these adjacent blocks. So I, you just kind of swap both of them. So let's go ahead and uh, refine the orange circuit and then we're going to move on to another circuit. So what I mean about refining the orange circuit is we are actually going to be adding these stairs in storage right here. And that's pretty much what I meant by refining. But it doesn't really matter, whatever you want to call it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and begin the blue circuit. So these are the items that you'll be needing in my hot bar right here. Now, again, I'm not going to be doing the count for these items just because of the fact that this is a kind of entertainment purposes video. So yeah, I really don't expect anyone to build this. If you are going to build this, you better put that down in the comments below because this is going to be like that would be insane. But Anyway, besides the point, we are now going to be doing the blue circuit. So the blue circuit is very easy. Uh, well, sort of. <laughs> Pretty much I'm going to do the right side, and then we're going to go ahead and do the left side. Pretty much just kind of the exact copy of it. So go from this red block right here, and we are going to be going down one block, so adjacent from this red block. Adding a redstone dust on that block just like this. Now we're going to add a piston facing upwards with a block on top and then another block right here with a redstone repeater set to no ticks now this redstone repeater will be going right into a piston facing downwards and then that piston will be spitting out its block to around about here now what we can do is we can grab a redstone torch and place it directly underneath this piston spat out block and we're going to be placing uh, blocks on either side of this redstone torch now we can go ahead and grab a piece of redstone and place one piece of redstone dust right here and then a redstone torch on this uh, block so it will turn off and then we'll have a redstone repeater set to four ticks going right into uh, some more redstone and that will be carry off onto the blue circuit but now we can go ahead and do the sort of timing circuits for this part so we are going to be adding a block er, of redstone right here and then another redstone dust right here and then now we can go ahead and begin the kind of looping circuit I don't really know what to call this circuit it's kind of just there so go ahead and add a piece a um, repeater set to no ticks right here and uh, then we can go ahead and add a repeater here 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 and here so again kind of like a loop you know huh and uh, all of these repeaters that will be going 
that will be forming a loop will all be set to four ticks. And then we'll have a piece of redstone dust here and then an observer facing outwards from this uh, redstone dust. So that is the right side to the uh, light blue circuit. Now we can go ahead and do the left side. So go ahead and place another adjacent block. Again, kind of the same exact steps except for this part right here because that's kind of um, uh, an oddball. So kind of the same exact steps except for this looping part. So right here and then it will be going, this redstone repeater will be going into a piston facing downwards and this piston will be, have spat out its block and then we'll have a redstone dust or redstone torch underneath this block. Now we are, instead of placing two blocks here and here, we're actually just only going to be placing these leftmost block right here. So place one block to the left of this redstone torch and then we're going to go ahead and add a redstone dust and then a torch and then this is set to four ticks and that will go off to the uh, blue circuit. Alright, so now this green circuit is actually pretty complicated just due to all of the redstone timing circuits and everything. Honestly, I don't really even remember what the green circuit does, um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do it. So, uh, we are going to be doing this right side of the green circuit first, and then we're going to move on to the left side up in this top left corner right here. Uh, but first things first, we're going to come off of this observer right here, and this observer will be going into two pieces of redstone dust, one here and one here. Now this repeater will write that will place right here and then we'll have another repeater right here now this repeater will be set to zero ticks and this repeater will be set to four ticks and then we'll have both of them connected up with redstone dust now we can go ahead and add a repeater going right into a block now on the other side on the right side of this block we're going to have a piece of redstone and then this redstone pe piece of redstone dust will be connected to a repeater and then to the right of this repeater there will be another repeater and both of these repeaters will be set to two ticks now both of these repeaters will be going into two pistons facing upwards and then yet again another two pistons so this is creating a double piston extender circuit we can go ahead and grab our two uh, observers and place one right here and right here just coming right off of these two repeaters so that the red side is on top now both of these observers will have blocks on their faces just like this and then if we actually give that a power it will double extend so let me just show you see it'll double extend I just kind of did a little too fast of a pulse there but as you can see it does double extend and retract all right, now we're going to be doing the top left hand part of the green circuit. Uh, now this one is a little bit more complicated and it's actually not going to be connecting into this green circuit at all whatsoever, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and just do it. So go ahead and place a block adjacent from this block right here. It's kind of difficult to understand where this is, but it's actually in, a cu in this cubby that we actually placed. Um, and so just find that cubby and it's the block that the redstone dust is resting on. So this block right here, we are actually going to be placing an adjacent block right here. And then we'll have three more blocks, so one, two, three, it's to create this four block I don't know, strip. And then what we can do is we can add an adjacent block from this last block that we placed. So an adjacent block just like this. And then another adjacent block just like this to create this sort of cubby. Now we can go ahead and grab a repeater and place it in this spot right here, going right into the uh, last adjacent block that we placed. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and be placing three pieces of resin dust, so one here, one here, and one here. And then a repeater coming out from this cubby redstone dust spot, just like this. So one repeater here, and this repeater will be set to no ticks. Now in the central two blocks of the four block strip, we are actually going to be placing two redstone torches on them, so one right here and one right there. And we are actually creating a T flip flop. Now this T flip flop design is actually one of my first videos, actually the first video on this channel. And so if you actually want to figure out how to actually make a T flip flop in just a little bit more detail than what I'm about to show here, then go ahead and click the card in the top right right now, or also in, down in the description, there will be a link to that video as well. All right, so now both of these torches underneath them will have two hoppers facing into one another just like this so now both of these hoppers are locked now in one of the hopper in the actually the right side of the rightmost hopper we are actually going to be placing a block it doesn't really matter any block um it could be dirt for the, all that matters just really any item just place it in the rightmost hopper now we can go ahead and grab a comparator 
and face it pointing outwards from this hopper. So just one comparator right here. And then this comparator will be going into a repeater set to four ticks. And then a this four tick repeater will be going right into a block with redstone dust on it and I think I goofed. I think I goofed. I think I goofed. I think I goofed. I goofed. All right. All right. So I actually made a mistake with the orange circuit. So this observer actually needs to be flipped around so that the red side uh, is actually pointing towards the sky, and uh, the detecting part is actually facing towards this piece of redstone right here. Now we can go ahead and place a redstone dust on this observer and that should be everything completely fixed. Alright, so that is the whole entire green circuit done. So we can go ahead and move on to the main bulk of the redstone contraption and that is the dark blue circuit. Now this circuit is actually super cool and I'll be explaining everything about that circuit uh, in a minute. Alright, so come to this repeater right here on the right side of the contraption and we are going to be uh, making a redstone Line, so just follow the redstone dust count that I'm actually going to be doing. So grab some redstone dust, and we are actually going to be placing uh, one redstone dust here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One to the right of the sixth one, so one. And then now we can go ahead and be placing a three blocks adjacent from one another to create this zigzag, so like this. And then now redstone dust on all of these blocks, just like this. Now we can go ahead and add an even fourth block, just like this. So this red piece of redstone dust will be going right into that block. So how I'm going to be explaining this redstone circuit, I am actually going to be building the whole entire circuit, explaining everything about the circuit, explaining how to build the circuit, and then I'm going to explain what is actually happening with the pistons and how they fire and stuff like that. And uh, so yeah. So there is going to be a lot of uh, talk about adjacent blocks in the next clip. Just just uh, bear with me here. It's not really my fault. I mean, genuinely, there is a lot of adjacent blocks. And I'm just going to be saying it a ton. So, yeah. Sorry in advance. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and get things started with... Oh, you guessed it. An adjacent block. So, we can go ahead and place an adjacent block off of this third block from the diagonal. And then another adjacent block from this adjacent block to create an upside down C. And we're going to be creating another up down, upside down C just to the left and then up of this upside down C. <laughs> um, so more adjacent blocks right here. Now we can go ahead and grab our repeater and place two repeaters here and here. Now this repeater right here will be set to four ticks just like this. And now come around to the back side here and we are going to be placing a block down right here to create this sort of C shape and then a piece of resonant dust and place it in this cubby right here. Now we can go ahead and grab another adjacent block from this block just like this and then another adjacent block from that block to create this sort of donut shape just like this. Now go ahead and grab a repeater set to no ticks placing it right here. That'll go right into this block and then there will be two pieces of resonant dust, one here and one here. And then grab an observer, come around to the back side here and place a observer uh, looking into the second piece of resonant dust that we placed that's on the floor. Now this observer will be going right into a repeater set to three ticks and this will be going into a block right here and then another block and then you guessed it, more adjacent blocks, so two adjacent blocks right here and then we can go ahead and line this with four more blocks just like this to create this two by three platform right here and then a two by one platform right here just adjacent from that uh, two by three platform. Now we can go ahead and grab redstone dust and place them all along here and then redstone repeaters all along here and then one redstone repeater here and then this repeater will be going into a block just like this. So now to finish this circuit off we're actually going to be placing two redstone torches so one right here that will turn all of these on and then one right here and now we can go ahead and uh, begin the upper stage of the blue circuit. So now we're going to go ahead and be building the upper section of the blue circuit. So go ahead and be placing a block right here just on top of this redstone torch. And then we're going to be placing a certain pattern of blocks like I'm going to be showing you uh, right now. So we are going to be placing a block here and then another block here. So just on both those sides of that torch. And then we're going to go ahead and be placing blocks right here, 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 and here. And then one more adjacent block from both of these blocks here. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and place a block right here, a, an adjacent block from this adjacent block right here, and then an adjacent block from that adjacent block right here to create this sort of cubby. 
Now we can go ahead and grab an observer adjacent from this adjacent block, from this adjacent block, from this adjacent block. <laughs> um, <laughs> so right here. And now we can go ahead and be placing three redstone repeaters. So two redstone repeaters right here, one redstone repeater right here. This redstone repeater is set to no ticks, and then both of these will be set to four ticks. Now we can go ahead and grab three pieces of redstone dust and line them all the way right here. Then we can go ahead and be placing one piece of resin dust in this little cubby right here. And so this observer will be detecting when this uh, piece of redstone will be activated. Now we can be creating a bed of four by two blocks. So just like this, one, two, three, four, and then two, just like this. And now all of these blocks right here will be all redstone dust. And then we'll have repeaters on all of these blocks right here. All right, so now it is time to do the piston layout. Now this is super easy. Pretty much all we have to do is uh, come to this block right here and place a piston facing upwards right here, another piston facing upwards right here, and then two more pistons all connected to these redstone repeaters. Now we will have observers in this location right here so that the red side is facing towards this uh, middle section of the redstone door. And now we can go ahead and temporarily destroy these four blocks, so one, two, three, four, and then be placing pistons facing downwards just on the sides of these observers, so one, two, three, four, and then we can go ahead and replace all of those uh, floor blocks just like that. Finally, the last step to completing the uh, blue circuit is to place pistons here, 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 and here, and finally here, and here. And now you can go ahead and replace all of those standstone blocks to the top uh, and to return them to their proper location. Uh, yeah, that is the uh, piston layout and everything done for the blue circuit. Now I will explain how this blue circuit actually works. So this is the opening piston layout for the blue circuit. Uh, so pretty much what happens from this stage is that these pistons right here will spit out their blocks to right here and they will break and I also touch on this a little bit in the original video kind of just showcasing this contraption but if you guys do want to actually check that video out uh, the link will be down in the description uh, but yeah so these pistons will be spit out to here and these pistons right here will push up this observer to here and then that observer will power this piston spitting out its block to here and that's how we get into this location right here so the closing sequence now the opening sequence is pretty simple so instantly these pistons depower and meaning that these uh, observers will be going down to here and then since we can't have a, pist a block right here because that will be in the way of all of the stairs uh, this observer will be then shot back up to the top to retract this block uh, from this repeater or from this piston and now this observer will be brought back down instantaneously to its final resting location and then these pistons will pull these uh, blocks all the way back into its starting location right here so yeah that's just a little bit of explaining how the actual blue circuit works and I'm sure someone can come up with a smaller uh, design but this is actually the same technique I used in this video over here now this is the two by infinitely expandable dude I'm jumping all the way around so I'm sorry about that but this is the two by infinitely expandable door now the link will be in the car in the top right right now also in down in the description below but this pretty much uses the same principle as the blue circuit uh, just to get a uh, flush uh, piston door all right so now we can just go ahead and replicate this blue circuit all the way to the other side of the contraption and uh, to complete the whole entire thing so believe it or not we're pretty much finished all you have to do is just copy the blue circuit over to the other side and I will be walking you guys through that uh, right now pretty much it's the same principle so come over to the light blue circuit and from this repeater we're gonna be placing six pieces of redstone so one two three four five six then on the six piece of redstone we're gonna be going to the left one and now we can go ahead and place a block right here 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 and here so four adjacent blocks from one another to create this zigzag or not a zigzag a diagonal now you can line three of these blocks with redstone dust and then the fourth block can be can stay clean now we can go ahead and uh, begin the C shapes so one C shape right here and one C shape right here so now we'll go ahead and place two redstone repeaters right here and right here and this redstone repeater will be set to four ticks 
Now we can go around to the left side right here and place an adjacent block from this adjacent block right here to create this C shape. And then now we're going to go ahead and finish it off with the donut shape just like this, a little donut hole. So now we can go ahead and place a redstone dust right here and then a redstone repeater in this cubby right here. Now this redstone repeater going right into this block which will have, uh, which will power this piece of redstone right here and then there will be another piece of redstone right here. Come around to the back side and place a observer right in this location here. That's just off of this second piece of redstone dust that we placed. Now this observer will have the red side again facing towards the middle of the contraption and this uh, observer will be going right into a repeater set to three ticks. Now this observer will be going into two blocks and then again the two by three bed of blocks just like this and then we'll have redstone dust on all of them just like that. Then we'll have repeaters on all of these blocks right here set to no ticks and then this block will have it one block up just like this. So now we can go ahead and begin the top section uh, but first we have to place the two redstone torches so one redstone torch right here and one redstone torch right here and now we can go ahead and begin the top section. So now we're going to be placing the same pattern so just like this uh, on all sides, on all, almost all sides and then all the way over to here to create this sort of four by two thing with two blocks sticking up on either ends then go ahead and place two resin repeaters here here one resin repeater right here these two resin repeaters will be set to four ticks and three pieces of redstone so this resin repeater will turn on this resin repeater going right into a block and then there will be adjacent block from that adjacent block and then there will be adjacent block from that adjacent block and then we'll have an observer from the final adjacent block right here to create this sort of uh, flat donut shape with an observer as one of the sides. Now this restaurant, these both of these restaurant repeaters will be powering both of these blocks which will be powering this piece of restaurant dust that we'll be placing in the middle. Now we can go ahead and place a 4x2 bed of blocks, so 2x4 just like this and then redstone repeaters on all of these blocks and then redstone dust on all of those blocks. Now we can go ahead and place the piston layout, so we're going to go ahead and be placing pistons all right here and all of them have observers and all of their red sides of the observers will be facing towards the middle of the um, contraption. Now we can go ahead and temporarily destroy these four blocks and place uh, pistons on all of these blocks, exposed blocks. Now we can go ahead and be placing pistons here, 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 and then all along here as well. So just two more pistons there. And then we can go ahead and replace all of the uh, sandstone blocks or floor blocks back to their original location. And believe it or not, that has been the whole entire tutorial completely finished. Oh my gosh, that took way longer than I thought it was going to, uh, but I guess we can just go ahead and test it out. It's probably not going to work, but we'll go ahead and test it out. If it works first try, oh my gosh, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> let's just go ahead and test it. I guarantee you it's not going to work first try. Holy crap, I think it just worked. That's insane. All right, so yeah, it worked. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and replace your stairs after it works. And uh, yeah, now you have a completely working uh, two wide flush hidden staircase that's completely infinitely expandable. So pretty much you can drop it all the way down as to bedrock if you want to. And yeah, it's such a, it's such a satisfying contraption to watch. I mean, look, oh, well, spoke too soon. Well, let me go ahead and fix that. Alright, so the thing that I totally forgot about this design is that you actually need an immovable object somewhere in this contraption. I completely forgot about it. Uh, pretty much, go ahead and grab yourself a piece of obsidian and on the left side of the contraption, so if you're looking uh, from the button's point of view, and it's to the right side actually, and on this side, uh, in this gap, so directly underneath this observer, we're actually going to be placing a piece of obsidian in this location here. Uh, just because of the fact that, as you can see, this repeater right here will be going into this block right here. And that block also powers this piston right here. So when all of these pistons push over, this piston fires and it will push out this observer, which means it will push all of these blocks over, and that's exactly what happened there. So it will push all of these blocks over and it will break this these pieces of redstone. But if we have this immovable object right here, then that piston will never actually fire. So yeah, I totally forgot that I actually figured out how to do that. Um, but yeah, that's literally it. 
So if you did not actually fire your redstone contraption, pretty much all you have to do is just put that piece of uh, obsidian right there and then you'll be good. But if you did fire your redstone contraption, then I will be explaining how to fix it. So pretty much you just destroy all of these blocks in this location here and I'm guessing both of these will be destroyed. So go ahead and destroy all of those blocks, then go ahead and place a piston here here and then an observer so the red side is facing towards the middle and another observer so the red side is facing towards the middle then go ahead and place two pistons right here facing upwards and then two more blocks right here and there and that is the whole entire thing done except for you know obviously replacing both these and uh, placing that immovable object on the right side of the contraption if you are about to click it and watch it open Alright, so that has been the whole entire tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider giving it a like because I have spent at least like an hour of my day recording this and now I'm going to be spending another hour of my day editing this. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, that works like a charm. Hopefully yours does too. If you do have any questions, please put those down in the comments below. I will answer all of the uh, comments and uh, on any of the questions that you ha may have. Um, but yeah, I really, I really don't expect anyone to build this. <laughs> if you build this design, you are absolutely crazy, man. You are crazy. Yeah, if you did actually build this and you found it very enjoyable to build, or if you found it enjoyable to watch, then please consider subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. My name is Virtue 6 and I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, goodbye. And you deserve